Okay, so I'm looking to make another uh, lens cap for a different uh, anamorphic rear end, and it's 67 millimeters. So um, I'm just using the design from my previous lens cap, and I've just adjusted it a little uh, wider from uh, the 50 millimeters to like 67. But um, if we go to the thread part, here, the edit the feature. Uh, I've created my camera profile here and I don't have 67 millimeters. So uh, I'm gonna go add that now, basically, to my XML file. So um, I'm also gonna clean this up today to actually put all the proper thread sizes in here and uh, that'll give a good starting point for people if they want to use this. All right, um, this time I'm gonna use this thread calculator. So you can see they have all these different M whatever. So we don't even have uh, M80, M75, M64, 65, 70. So, and they don't have 0 0.75 thread pitch anyway, but luckily this calculator, you can add your own as well. So. I'm going to put uh, 67 and the pitch is 0, oops, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Now the tolerances, I don't know exactly what these all mean, but I'm just going to compute because in the uh, XML file, there's 6G, 6H, and 4G, like there's 6G and there's 6H. Uh, the, here, this one. So I don't know. I'm just going to use the default one because we'll see how that works. So computing it, we get the the data for the threads here. Now there's a bolt, which is this, and they're nut. So it doesn't really tell me which one's which up here. So I'm going to assume that the nut is the larger one because that's a larger hole and the, the actual uh, bolt that goes through would be a little bit smaller with the tolerances here. So on my XML file here, I don't know if I can get these guys on the same. Oh yeah, look at that. Same place here. I'm going to take this, let's see here. So actually I'll go create a new spot for it. 54, we're doing 67, so it's 76, 68, 70, 65. So it would go somewhere in between here, right here actually. So uh, this is 68. Actually, I can clean this up a little bit because I'm not going to be using 0.6 here. So I don't even know if there's actually a 68 filter, but uh, let's just get this a little cleaner. Uh, two and 1.5. Cause I don't need all that information. Next one, the next thread size is uh, 70 it looks like. So I don't know if 68 is a standard thread size. So I might just change this and see. I put them up here at the top just so I can reference them. 68, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna change the 68 to 67 for me. Since I'm gonna clean this up later today anyway. 70 and 68. Let me see if I have a, there we go. Just so I know what I'm doing here, I'm gonna do some, use some comments. Cause it's very confusing. 65, oh, I could've went up. <laughs> Is 
for my uh, B and H Bell and Howell. Rear uh, lens cap. All right. So I'm going to change this to 67. Um, so 67. We'll do the point. I'm not sure if it's 0 0.1 or 0 0.75. Uh, there's a one down here. Yeah, let's do the 75 first then. Okay, so uh, external, this is external would be the bolt. the thread goes on the outside not on the inside so the smaller one would be I can tell that this is the smaller one anyway so I'm going to do that this is for 6g I guess we could do it properly here with the 6g and 6h and minor diameter that's that uh, hold on uh, I'm just gonna use this one I'm not gonna I can see that it's bigger. So this is the internal hole. And the tap drill, well, I guess I should change that. Anyway, as long as it's smaller, uh, we should be good to go. And uh, external for 4G, 6G. See, I don't know what this means, so I could do, I guess, 4G. I don't know if that makes a difference. 4G, 6G. If we do that, does it change these numbers? Uh, changes this one, which is the external. <laughs> there we go. So that might make some sense here. All right, so that's using that calculator. Uh, you're gonna have to sort of experiment and see which one's better for you. Uh, this is 68, so we're gonna change this to 67. And do this one. Well, actually they probably have the tolerances here, yep. Compute. Uh, so external, which would be this one. So <coughs> you don't pay attention. Because it's a lot of blue numbers. And I'll put this one to back to 6G. Uh, 67-1, compute. Yeah, so just this number. The external number that changes. I'll probably do some research after and see what these tolerances mean and stuff. Um, but so far it just works, so I'm not going to worry too much. And I guess 65. Did I change the other one to 65 for the... Uh, Sixty-six. Here, let's just change that to sixty-five. Be on the safe side. All right. So when I save this now, uh, there'll be a little problem in in here usually because I won't be able to find it. It's not there, so you have to close this down. Sometimes you might have to close the whole uh, program, but it seems like this version it's okay. Just when you reopen it, it's there, 67, and one, or 75. Oh, 
anyway, you could change the order, I guess, in the thing. But we'll do that. And if you do, don't do modeled, you're not going to get the thread there. So I'll just do, and it's always right hand as well. 6H, do I have a choice? No. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's my lens cap, and then I can just uh, save it and export it. Uh, as an STL, hold on. Where am I? Yep, save as an STL. And I kind of do a high refinement because I know it's very thin threads. Like I think it's default as medium or something or low. Uh, so I change it to high and I'm gonna send it out to Cura. And the way I've modeled this, actually, it's upside down, so I'm going to have to do something there. Okay, yeah, see, it's upside down. This is not print well, so uh, like this one, does this rotate? Let's see which way it's rotating. Yeah, I want the thing on the flat on the bottom there. There we go. And just to make sure, just make sure it's centered. Yep, good. All right, and I have I have uh, PLA, so I'm just I set sort of a slow. Uh, well, I don't know if it's slow, but it's high quality. <laughs> the smaller layer height height to one point five millimeters. Now the thread size is zero point seven five, right? So um, this should be fine. Even two is probably fine, or more because it's it's lower than. Uh, the thread size of 0 0.75 uh, wall thickness I don't know anyway I just sort of these are the default settings uh, of it with the slight adjustment to the uh, infill density I put a hundred percent change it to a grid as opposed to just straight lines and I raised the temperature a bit from 190 to 205 just gives a little slicker in better cohesion uh, with this PLA that I have. And that is it. So, oops, I'm gonna slice it. Let's see if we can make this smaller. So it's gonna take a couple hours, uh, two and a half hours, and cost cost 75 cents to make this. So I'm just gonna go get the SD card. Okay, so save to my mega zero, or save to file, and have to give it proper name so I recognize it. Uh, 67 millimeter lens cap. Okay, save it to mega zero. Now, uh, so in a few hours, I should have a, a lens cap. So there's my new cap um, printed out. And I have one here for my uh, 16D that I also made earlier. Because the one I had on there kept, well, kept falling out, <laughs> falling off. It's just like these kind of clip caps. And also they touch the, the glass because the glass curves so Anyway, this this way at least I know it's going to stay on when it's in my bag and not uh, not come off. This is for the uh, the big Bell and Howell I have one of these uh, three thirty five Bs. Oh, this one's a little tight actually. It just came off. Oh no, there we go. They're easy to cross thread because they're plastic, so I wouldn't really trust them for too much. Um, but you know, 3D printed, I think people are finding it pretty popular now. So that's all. Thanks for watching.